Austronesian Ongan languages. Austronesian Ongan is a proposed connection between the Ongan and Austronesian language families, proposed by Juliet Levins, 2007. Ongan is a small family of two attested languages in the Andaman Islands, while Austronesian is one of the largest language families in the world, with a thousand languages spread across the Pacific. The proposed connection has been criticized and rejected by other linguists. Sound Correspondences Levins 2007 proposes the following sound correspondences. There is neutralization and sometimes loss of final nasals in proto-ongan, with final asterisk asterisk and merged into proto-ongan asterisk ng, and final asterisk asterisk m and asterisk asterisk ny partially merged into asterisk ng. The latter merger and loss may post-date proto-ongan. Final oral stops are lost in multisyllabic words on stressed syllables. In proto-ongan, initial asterisk asterisk b drops from proto-ongan before asterisk asterisk u and perhaps before asterisk asterisk i. Asterisk asterisk qw and asterisk asterisk kw become asterisk kw in proto-ongan and asterisk q slash k or asterisk w in proto n. Proto-Ongan and proto and share a typologically odd restriction against root initial asterisk M. Vowel initial words in Proto-Ongan correspond to asterisk Q in proto N because the Austronesian forms often include doublets. Blevins believes this is due to epenthesis in proto N. Final asterisk asterisk I has become asterisk E in Proto-Ongan. Asterisk E also derives from asterisk asterisk A before palatals, word finally and when unstressed. proto ongan asterisk o typically derives from asterisk asterisk u in a checked syllable or from assimilation as an asterisk asterisk wa. proto ongan asterisk at is thought to have been an allophone of asterisk e found before coda nasals except after palatals. Grammatical correspondences Most derivational morphology and grammatical words are so short that the several resemblances between proto-ongan and proto and may be chance. However, ongan morphology does appear to explain an odd situation in Austronesian. Proto-Austronesian has a limited set of reconstructed vowel initial roots, all of which are kin terms, body parts, or other readily possessed nouns. Ongan languages have inalienable possession, and inalienably possessed nouns are all vowel initial. Elsewhere, vowel initial roots in Proto-Ongan correspond to initial asterisk Q in Proto-Austronesian. The complete list of vowel initial proto and roots reconstructed by Blust is as follows. Kin, asterisk Iki grandfather, asterisk Ama father, paternal uncle, asterisk Anak child, asterisk Apu grandparent slash grandchild, asterisk Aya paternal aunt, asterisk in a mother, maternal aunt, body. Asterisk you jung slash a jung nose, asterisk a ku our tail, asterisk I securin, asterisk you rat vein sinew, asterisk you tack vomit, other, asterisk a su slash wasu dog, asterisk a cab cover, asterisk e in home, asterisk you nay splinter. These are all the kinds of words expected in inalienable possession systems. Flevins suggests that inalienable possession was lost from Proto-Austronesian, presumably after epithetic asterisk Q was added to vowel initial words. There are many proto and doublets, like asterisk wasu, asterisk asu dog, initial asterisk W has also been lost from asterisk W on a and right side, and asterisk W I right left side in pays and other languages from what Blust describes as some now obscured morphological process. Flevins suggests that, in all three cases, the Proto-Austronesian asterisk W reflects the proto ongan possessive prefix asterisk GW his her, which remained as a fossil in some daughter languages. Thus Proto-Austronesian ongan may explain some of the odd patterns found in Proto-Austronesian. Criticism the connection between Austronesian and Ongan has not been supported by most Austronesian linguists. Robert Bluss 2014 finds that Blevins' conclusions are not supported by her data 
of her first 25 reconstructions. None are reproducible using the comparative method, and Blust concludes that the grammatical comparison does not hold up. Blust also cites non-linguistic such as cultural, archaeological, and biological evidence against Blevins' hypothesis.